Emotional immaturity is one of the biggest ways we ruin our relationships, we lose our jobs and our friends don't want to know anything about us anymore. So in this video, we're going to learn how to grow emotionally. Welcome love bug, I'm Vivi. Welcome to Adventure You Will. My channel is all about guiding you to an exceptional relationship with yourself, with your partner and just live a more beautiful life due to emotional intelligence. So if this is something that you want to have more of in your life, consider subscribing and hit the little notification bell to get notified whenever I release a new video. So how do we grow emotionally? First of all, we need to be aware of what emotional image your behavior actually is. So if you have no idea what that is, go check out the video about emotional image your behavior and how to identify that. Then we start being aware of our emotional triggers. When we know what triggers us, we can deal with it and we can try to avoid it. But knowing what triggers us in the first place is key to work on it. Then we start exercising our mind because just as our muscles, we can exercise our mind and become better at something. So the more aware we are, the more we focus on it, the better we get. And then ask yourself, who do you want to be? How do you talk to yourself and about yourself? It is really hard to grow emotionally when we beat ourselves up, when we doubt ourselves, and when we talk negatively all the time about ourselves. Another way to grow emotionally is dealing with fear. Leaving our comfort zone and just doing whatever is uncomfortable, whatever scares us and whatever we actually do not really want to do, that's the thing that we should do just to grow, to have the experience, to widen our, our uh, comfort zone, our horizon and just gain more experience so we are able to actually deal with the emotions because fact is we are always able to deal with our emotions the problem is so many times we are so scared we don't really know what to do so we try to avoid them at all means but the more we're putting ourselves in the situation where we actually need to deal with the emotions, where we're actually facing our fears, the easier and better it is for us to grow emotionally because we've experienced it before, we've learned something, and we can then grow slowly, step by step, and it's easier and easier to actually manage and control our emotions and apply these lessons into other areas of our life. Growing emotionally doesn't mean getting rid of all your problems. You'll never get rid of all your problems. Growing emotionally is about finding joy in dealing with your problems and solving higher or different kind of problems in general and finding joy and excitement in that. You will also notice that you've grown emotionally when you shifted from blaming everything that's happening to you on everyone else, on whatever it is, society, your parents, your friends, your partner, the house, the universe, the weather, the grass, the gardener, the cook in the restaurant, the driver in front of you, whatever is happening, obviously like nothing is your fault because everything is someone else's fault and you have zero responsibility because life is happening to you, that's when you're really emotionally immature. Emotional maturity shows when you take radical responsibility, when you know that life isn't happening to you but for you and when you know that whatever is happening to you is actually only the 10% but the 90% is how you react to it, what you made out of it so that you can create the life that you want, so that you can turn everything around and make it to your favor, and that you take radical responsibility, knowing that everything actually also is your fault, but the good thing is you can turn it around and you can make it the most beautiful thing in the world. To grow emotionally, I always recommend my clients to focus on communication. Because communication is a huge part in our relationships with our partner, with our parents, our friends in every relationship that we have with another human being communication is key that's why i have a beautiful training that helps you to communicate your emotions more helps you to connect better with other persons and have a really effective communication where you avoid misunderstanding it's linked in the comments below 
um, and in the description box definitely go check it out definitely go check it out it's linked in the description below it's I believe one of the best trainings I've done on communication so definitely go check it out it has helped a lot of people and changed the way people communicate and the way they build relationships a lot so definitely give it a watch and when we start focusing on the communication we also start focusing on the we in our relationships which really shifts you from emotional immaturity where everything is about you where everything is really egocentric to the we where your consciousness expands and you're like oh this is actually about us and if i want our relationship to work i do not only have to focus on myself but i need to make sure we both are good because a relationship will never work if only one person is okay or trying to do the work or feeling great relationship was where a good relationship works when both people give a hundred percent and when both people create something together it's a real relationship and also emotional maturity emotional growth happens when we're conscious about our beliefs when we choose what we believe in and when we do not buy into other people's beliefs when we do not buy into what society the news and our parents and our friends and everyone else tells us but when we're actually choosing okay is that something i really want to subscribe to is that something i really want to believe in or do i just believe in it because everyone else believes it because obviously it's in the news because obviously i read a book about it because obviously my friends believe it because obviously i've seen a video about it so obviously it's true right well choose what you actually believe in and choose wisely this is where emotional growth comes from I hope this video was helpful if it was please share it with your friends and family so they know how to grow emotionally as well give this video a like if you did and consider subscribing to the channel so you can learn more about emotional growth emotional intelligence just live a more beautiful life due to emotional intelligence thank you so much for watching and i see you in the next video